percent increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Hello, Tuna back again. As you see, it's got a very shiny screen. But um, here's the, uh, the actual view this time with the uh, Eagle 2 Mini. Um, I've basically been playing on the actual unit itself for, for a little while now. And I did stream the unit for over five hours last night. So I've given it a pretty good go. I've given all the accessories a go. And I'm basically going to tell you my thoughts. So we're going to start this video off actually on the unit itself. As you see, it's in front of me. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the outside of the screen. So there's all the games on the unit, so I'll run through them. Uh, we've got Space Invaders, uh, Luna Rescue, um, Steel Worker, Looping Third, Quicks, Pirate Pete, Adventure Canoe, that's an odd game I was, um, Elevator Action, Chack and Pop, Out, um, Outer Zone, Fairyland Story, Legend of Car Game, Haley's Comment, uh, Bubble Bobble, Kiki Kikai, uh, Scramble Formation, Rastan, Kudukuku, Tiger, um, Ramius, uh, Rainbow Islands, uh, what's that, Extra, New Zealand Story, Tatsujin, Don Donko Don, Valfield, Violet's Fight, uh, Kadash, um, Mazuki Boo, Adventure, Gun Frontier, Runak, uh, Hattrick Hero, Ninja Kids, Metal Black, Ray Force, Kaiser Knuckle, Darius, Skaden, Bubble Bobble, um, Symphony, Elevated Action Returns, classic, um, Puzzle, Bob Puzzle Bobble 2, uh, Bubble Memories, and Dan Kuga. Um, what I'm going to say is the screen itself and the unit is pretty nice. Uh, black levels are not amazing, but you know, it's just tiny small screen, what do you expect? But the quality is nice on the screen, which is uh, good. And as you can hear, the music is quite loud on the speakers. A little bit tinny, but the speakers are tiny, so, you know. If you go into the menus, I've noticed a few sort of quirks with this machine. Uh, you can turn the brightness down, and I will turn the volume down to 4. And if you leave the filter off, you get filtered by linear. So basically, the, the screen is smoothed off a bit. But if you turn the filter on, you get perfect um, pixels. So they've messed the filters up, they're back in front. Um, there's also alternative menu music, which is quite a nice touch, I think. But I still think the original menu music is the best. You've got a demo as well. So basically what happens there is, uh, if you leave the machine on for a while, depending on uh, when the minutes you want it, they'll start cycling through the games and doing demos, which is quite a nice touch as well. Uh, you've got your different languages and various resetting to sort of factory settings and all that sort of stuff. Um, it shows a nice little picture per game. Sometimes they take a little while to pop up. And you get three save slots per game as well, which is quite nice. So, that's pretty much the menus and everything in the unit. You can see it's got a really nice light-up marquee, which I found out in the night makes quite a cool uh, nightlight as well, which is quite funny. And on the top of it here, it's got a proper marquee you can slot in, but it, it lights the marquee up, which is nice. Um, on the back of the unit, there's two HDMI ports for player 1 and 2, so you can use external controllers. You, you can buy a, a spinner controller and a um, rollerball controller in one, uh, which I will show you quickly. Which, I don't know if you can see, which is this controller. There's the rollerball and there's the spinner. Nice controller, actually. Rollerball is really cool. The spinner is really nice as well. Um, there's an arcade joystick controller as well, uh, which is this thing. Uh, heavy, but we'll come back. We'll come back to that in a minute. And there's a standard uh, joypad controller as well. So the unit is uh, a fair size as well, and it's it's got a nice uh, heft to it. And uh, the other thing with this unit, this is the big thing about this unit that makes it uh, really cool, is you can pop the screen, you can spin the screen. And you can put it into vertical tate mode. All games can be played in tate mode or in horizontal mode. 
So say you wanted to play Bubble Bobble or, or I don't know, say Buddy Darius or whatever, you, they will resize themselves to fit the, uh, the screen. The mechanism feels fairly robust, to be honest. Feels it's got a nice feel to it and there's a nice click and you can feel it moving sort of around as you're doing it. Um, yeah, so all, all in all, it's a nice quality unit. It's got pretty nice buttons on it and the stick actually works really well. Um, the buttons feel very similar to the Astro City Mini. They've got a little bit of a... they got like a little bit of a click to them. But um, yeah, nice unit. Uh, I found a few caveats with this unit though. Uh, Power-wise, you will need to power it off um, a proper, either a USB plug or, or a um, like a charger for a mobile phone because I tried doing it off my PC and I tried charging off a few other things and what it'll do, it'll play for a while and it'll just cut out. So this unit definitely does take uh, a little bit extra in power so you are going to need a, a charger or something to run it which I say most people's got them hanging around these days and it doesn't come with one in the box but you do get a nice long um, cable on each of the accessories. So I'd say the cable is about, I don't know, maybe about a metre, two metre cable maybe, roughly. So there's a nice length on the cables. Um, the, other ca the other caveat I found with this is when you, when, you when you use the spinner controller, you've got to plug in an SD card into the side and then uh, the, the basically the spinner and the rollerball game show up in the list. It, it doesn't add them to the list of games. It just shows you the list of 10 games on the card. So, and it requires you to put a spinner controller in. So there's, if you want to play those games, you've got to keep putting the SD card in and out, which is a bit of a bummer they did that. They should have added, so they just added, adds them to the list and then you can use different controllers. So you will have to use the SD card in and out. Um, the SD card slot is on the side with it. It's, it's, it's quite indented in, so to get the SD card in, you've really got to push it in that groove. So that, that's one thing of it. Um, nobody's mentioned input lag on this as well. I did a little bit of testing by recording videos and playing it on the unit itself. And I run it through some uh, video software, uh, down to per frame. I, I counted in various places, there's about five frames of input lag on the screen. I was using a couple of different games, but generally just um, the Darius Gaiden. But Darius Gaiden does seem to be a little bit more laggy than the other games. So, but it, it's certainly not a deal breaker. You can still play them on the unit. It's not like it's unplayable or anything, but be aware that there is, while playing on the unit, there, there's five frames of input lag, I think. So going by, like I say, I'm no expert at testing input lag, but that's what I found. Um, yeah, apart from that, really nice little unit. Uh, plugged into HDMI, uh, it looks really nice. There is no scan lines, and in some ways, I'm glad of that, as much as I love scan lines, because scan lines are always piss poor on any of these mini machines. So I'm glad they've just gone for play, you know, plain bilinear filtering or no filtering. So in a lot of ways, I'm quite happy with that. The accessories themselves, uh, the, the joypad is pretty nice. Uh, my only complaint would be the D-pad itself doesn't really pivot that much. It's like when you push it in, it almost feels like it goes flat. But it does work perfect, so I can't complain. It works perfectly well. The arcade stick, I played on the last night for quite a few hours. Uh, heavy, uh, it's, it's heavy, it's got nice uh, buttons. And it's got a nice clicky arcade stick, which you can change to two-way and four-way. Which you can also do on the actual machine itself. Um, I don't like it. It's nothing wrong with it. It's fine, but it for me it has no palm room at all. And I found myself resting my hand on my computer desk, and then having to reach up to the stick like you put your hands in like a claw condition, sort of motion like that. And after about an hour, it starts getting a bit uncomfortable, and I almost feel like a. a how can I say, the, the stick has got quite a lot of travel to it because it's quite high in the top as well. And that almost makes it feel like there's a little bit more extra input lag than it is. So I don't know whether it's just the way the stick is set up. You are, we're going into the track mode now. So I don't know whether it's the way the stick is set up. Or maybe maybe this stick has got a little bit of extra, maybe it's got a frame or so of 
input lag. I, I don't know. I can't test this, so I can't say. I could be wrong. But, yeah, it, it's... I, I don't find it comfortable, unfortunately. But it, it does feel like a solidly well-made stick. So if you prefer a, a smaller arcade stick, uh, this could be perfect for going around your friend's house and just chucking in a small bag. For that type of thing, great. But for long-term use, a proper full-size arcade stick, I think, is, is a better option. Um, the spinner controller, though, is fantastic. That is really good. Uh, the actual... I don't know whether you can hear this. It feels like there's ball bearings or something in there, and it has a bit of resistance to it. It feels really good. And the rollerball feels pretty nice and a little bit weighty as well with the buttons. Uh, that's a really cool controller. I will say, playing games on a rollerball and a spinner, because I'm not used to doing it, it's, it's almost like learning a new control style all over again. So, in some ways, that's... that's quite cool like it is like playing something completely new and it works well with all the games i did run through a lot of the um spinner games and stuff and the rollerball games last night and I, to be honest i was quite enjoying it so the spinner control is really cool and i did try it on mister and it doesn't work um there's no way of configuring it so it, it probably needs it probably needs a driver oops let me check this back in the middle. It probably needs a driver or something like that for it to work. But if they can get this working on Mister, this might be quite cool for some of the arcade games that are on there, like Arkanoid and stuff like that. So we'll have to wait and see uh, and see if it's added to Mister. But yeah, that's a really cool controller. I, I, I like that. And it comes with the extra 10 games as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the overall of the actual machine itself. Um did I find anything else? I'm just going to think if I found anything else that is a bit fun. Um, I can't test the input lag on the HDMI out. So it, it does it does have some. Well, it's an emulator. Everything that's an emulator has some sort of input lag. You know, you're talking a frame or two at least, even on PC. Some arcade boards, a lot of arcade boards have a frame or two built in anyway. So it, 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 it does have a little of input lag. And I, I did find that Darius Gaiden seems to have a little bit worse than anything else but that is quite a harder game to emulate so but yeah nice nice little unit plays well and like i say you've got the unreleased game um dan cougar which is actually on main to be honest but it, it's unreleased in the arcade but that's on you yeah, and um it plays all right to be honest the other thing with the main unit I've tried a few controllers and the Astro City Mini Joypad and Arcade Stick do work on you. And I was I did when I was streaming last night, I swapped over to that and it had and it seemed it almost seemed like the input lag was getting cut down a little bit. I, I think maybe it's something to do with the throw on the stick, I don't know. But um it seems a lot better and maybe it's the way you hold in the other stick. But I, I seem more comfortable with with that. The only problem with that is there's no way of the menu button. Because uh, I don't know if you can see there's a white menu button. Uh, there's no way of using the menu button. So you do have to press the menu button on the um, the actual menu itself. And they do reverse the start and select. Or the coin and start. So I'll show you this playing. Right, this guy's got a few fireball moves. So we'll, uh, we'll have a go at that. This is a nice, nice looking uh, beat map with some interesting moves. So I've got no problems doing moves. It's quite uh, it's quite fun this game is you can um, smash them through the walls. The, the controls on the machine are perfectly fine. They do have a tap backwards. I'm, I, I'm sure I'm, I'm lazy on the wrist. Anything with a little bit too much throw, like I say, a sand wrist, I have a problem double tapping it. <laughs> Well, that's just me. Wait. 
Yeah, I smashed into the wall then. So there's nothing wrong with the controls on the machine at all. They, they work perfectly fine. So yeah, all in all, I would say I did... I was a little bit worried about the input lag when I seen the video and I did cancel my pre-order because this unit's not mine. I, I borrowed it basically just to review. And um, I, I, I think it's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's perfectly playable. If you check the free frames, the input lag job done. Basically, it's, there's no problems playing on the unit. It's quite nice. You know, obviously it's not going to compete with like maybe playing through the games on Mister, but you know, Nothing does, not even PCs. So yeah, it's a very nice unit. So um, what we'll do, guys, we'll um, we'll swap over to HDMI, and I'll uh, I'll show you on HDMI, and then uh, we'll uh, finish up the review then. So uh, we'll be back in a second. Right, then, guys, so we're back with the HDMI. Um. I'll show you the settings, so it might be a bit easier to see on this. If we turn the filter off, and we go into say, let's have a look at something that's going to show it out. Something simple that you can see the graphics filter. Um, uh, let's do, let's do Lucian, sorry. I do like the way that the, the wallpaper changes per game as well which is a really nice feature. It's got a really nice wallpaper. So I don't know whether you can pick this up, but it's got a bilinear filter over the top of this. So it's got a little bit of a smoothed off blurry look. So you haven't got those sharp pixels, uh, which is, I, a lot of people don't want that, but it doesn't look too bad, but it, it does give it a little bit of a sort of uh, a blurred look to it. But if I go back and then turn the filter on, which they've definitely made a mistake with that, and then go back into it, You should see now, we should have really sharp pixels now. So all that bilinear smoothing is gone. So yeah, they, they've messed that up, basically. Uh, the one other thing I will say about this as well, the sound on this through this headset, uh, throughout the HMI, is really nice. It's got really nice stereo sound. I used to love escape with the arcades. It's quite nice, it's got auto fire set up as well for pretty much any game that needs it. And you get to use the buttons just like you would on an arcade arcade machine, so it's got the same layout style, but with the auto fire. Or you can use the other ones for single like that. So all games that need auto fire, they're, they're automatically set up, which is really nice. You can warp through this game really fast if you know where the warps are. I say over HDMI, I, I think it's pretty alright. I gotta be honest. You know, it, it, it does have a little bit of input lag, that's because all emulators do anyway. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. I, I played it for about five hours last night, and I was doing okay on it. I, I do think, though, playing on the Astro City stick, which I'm doing now, it seems it seems a bit. Um, how can I put it? it? It seems a little bit more sort of. Um, responsive. I don't know whether it's something to do with the longer throw on the stick that comes, which you can buy for this machine, or whether it's uh, it's just I prefer the short throw on this stick. I don't know. It's nicer for the autofire on this, though, because it's handy for, these, for the bosses. Uh, the one game that does seem to have a little bit more input lag, which it is, it is noticeable, is Darius Gaiden. So what we'll do, we'll cancel that back. We'll go to Darius Gaiden. There is another little problem with Darius Gaiden as well, which I'll point out. It's not really a problem, but it, it, it's it's something I'm going to point out. Yes, yeah, so th this game for some reason seems to have a little bit more input lag. At least it feels like it. Um, another another slight issue. Vertical games suffer from vertical shimmer, so it's like um, there's no V-sync or the aspect ratio is slightly wrong 
so it's inconsistent on the the pixel sizes just shimmers but some games and well especially this game uh this game suffers from it going horizontal so you might not be able to notice over there but when you get on the inside it's not a deal breaker or anything i did manage to get uh, quite far in this last night even though it does seem a little bit more input lag but it don't play too bad to be honest it's not too bad it's not a deal breaker or anything yeah so what you'll notice on this background there's a lot of shimmer going on inconsistent um pixel pixel heights and pixel size so it's shimmering as you move and this this has it on um, horizontal the astro city mini has it on the vertical games but doesn't on the horizontal games so i don't know whether this game's missing i suspect i could be completely wrong in this i suspect that they turned the v-sync off to get this game running a bit better and that's why it does it so i am really no I, I didn't notice that much on other games there might be other games that do it everything if i do a bomb you the sound cutting out for a second that's not a problem but the sound can cut out i think though that this game is a, it's it's quite a bit harder to emulate than the other games on you and they obviously wanted to put this on you so that's another issue i found but it, it's, it's not it's not really a deal breaker like if i find something else that's uh, scrolling um, Okay, we'll try this one here. Yeah. Old Liquid Kids or Masabuku Adventure. This is a really nice game. Okay, we'll have a look now and see if this has got the shimmer. See, this hasn't got it. So, I, I think it's just Darius. Like I said, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a lot harder to emulate that game and I, I think that's probably why they did it. By the way, this this is a really interesting game that uh, you can get on the PC Engine. This came out on, and it came out on Saturn and PlayStation. I think there's a version of it on the Tato Memory. It's quite an interesting game, this is. See, so there doesn't seem to be any shimmer on this. But on, over HDMI on my TV, they ain't playing too bad at all. The games. Like I said, I did cancel my pre-order because this unit is not actually mine. There's quite a lot of secrets in this game as well. I was a little bit worried about the input lag, so I cancelled my pre-order. But after playing this, you know, I, I think I would be fine. With that one, you've got to spin the, um, the wheels the opposite way to get over them. So, we'll show you a few other things. Yeah, I see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I uh, noticed. Like I say, I gave her a good oh, five and a half hours play last night. Um, so, let's try let's try what we got. Uh, let's try another side scrolling shooter Metal Black. This is a really nice game as well. I will say the games listen this is very nice. Even some of the older games I may not be interested in, but um, there's a few of the older games that are actually quite good fun, like Pirate, Pirate Adventure. So I understand why they chucked them on you. So I start Metal Black up. I say this this was going to be um, Darius Free. far as I know. I think this is on the same hardware as um, uh, Dowdy Skater. It does seem to have a little bit of shimmer in that uh, scrolling background. Yeah, so this has got the shimmer as well. So I think it's just those top-end games. Well, it's got the shimmer on the background, but not uh, not the front, the foreground. Uh, this this is pretty nice. I haven't really tried that many controllers on you, but the Astro City stuff does work. As I say, the only caveat with that is you've got to press the menu button on the actual unit itself. So if you're playing from the sofa, from, you know, 
a meter two way, you are going to have to get up if you ask to press that button. So, instead of making this uh, review massively long, so we'll go back to uh, the main menu. Actually, let's just pick a game to play in the background. Elevator actually returns. This is a brilliant game, by the way. It's probably worth the price of this, just for this game. Yeah, so what do I think of this? Um, main unit's very nice. I love the turning mechanism. Uh, it's a really chunky big unit as well. Uh, controls are really nice on it. Screen's nice on it as well. Sound is tidy. Uh, on HDMI is good. The main unit does seem to have five frames of input lag. I can't test the HDMI output because I don't have a lag tester. Um, but there is some inherent lag as there will be. And I, I think Darius Gaiden is a little bit worse than the rest of the games on you. Um, so it does have the shimmering issue on a few games, but it's not really a deal breaker. It does have very nice stereo sound. The sound is pretty sweet on this. Like I'm using a pair of Astro A50s and it um, sounds very nice. Uh, all the emulation seems pretty much smack on from what I can see. I haven't really noticed anything that's not. <clears throat> the output, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's output in a 1080p. Good work, At least that's what my um, video, that's what my um, editing software is saying. So it could well be 1080p output. But I, I can't find any option on the TV to test it. Sometimes you get like an information option. They'll tell you about it. Um, I can't get that. I can't get that up. I think the um, the menus are really nice. Playing games on the main unit is perfectly serviceable. Um, apart from the obviously you've got that little bit of extra input lag, but because it's a small screen, it doesn't seem quite so apparent. If you know what I mean. I like the menu music. And I like the way you can change it. I also like the way it changes the wallpaper per game. I think that's a nice touch. <clears throat> the Astro City Mini didn't do that. I think that would have been nice if they did, but I think that's a better touch with this. The spinner controller games are actually really good fun, and the rollerball games. Uh, but I think it's a little bit of a shame if you plug that SD card in, it cuts all the games off on the machine and you only see the 10 spinner games. So you have got to keep taking that SD card in and out all the time. Um, the controllers, I think the, um, the normal sort of... Uh, controller you know the buddy joypad controller is pretty nice even though it doesn't pivot quite as much as i'd like but it, it works perfectly fine and the angles are all fine on it so i can't complain the spinner controller is really cool and i think that would if that gets converted on mister uh, it might be worth picking up just to use on your mister the arcade joystick is perfectly serviceable feels weighty it's got nice co components in it works perfectly well but it's not to my liking. I think the the base is way too small and I've got to put my hands in a weird sort of like grip position to use it. And there's a little bit too much throw on the stick for me. But like I said, I, I don't, I have problems if it's too much throw. I, I don't know what it is. I think I just got lazy hands or something. I do like the way you can change it to four way to two way. It does work perfectly cool, perfectly fine. It's good for four way games. Um, the other thing, I think the game selection is really nice. Like, if I go quickly through and see what I, I tell it, I, I think Lang Cougar is probably, I don't know, it's a good it's a good game. Bubble Memories is great. That's great. Elevated Action is amazing. Uh, that's great. Darius Gaiden's amazing. Kaiser Knuckles is okay. Ray Force is fantastic. Metal Black is fantastic. I had a go with that. It seems quite an interesting scroll along beam up. Patrick Hero, I'm not, I'm not really into sports games, so it's not really my bag. Runak is a is a pretty good uh, scrolling fighter with uh, lots of stuff on screen at once. Gun Frontier, I was playing this last night. I've, I haven't really properly played it on MIM, and I was quite enjoying it. It feels it feels very much like um, a racing game, but I think the guy who made um, Battle Greg and I really like this game, so I think he took some ideas from it. Uh, Mazubuku uh, Adventures is a very nice platform game. Kadash is brilliant. Uh, Violence Fight is okay. Volfield is a really cool game, I like that, where you've just got to fill in the screen. It's a fun game. Don Don Go Don, uh, it looks nice and stuff, but I can't really get on with it, I don't know why. Ted Susan is a classic. Uh, New Zealand is always a classic. Rainbow Islands is a classic, and this is the extra version as well, of all the, uh, the sort of remix levels and stuff. Uh, Ramius um, 
is okay. Karuka Ko Tiger is a uh, brilliant shoot map, very good. Rastan Saga is a classic, but solid. <laughs> Scramble Formations is not a bad shooter. I'm not overly fussed on Kiki Kikai. It is a classic, but I think the arcade is a bit, it's a bit old and cheap. It is an old game, mate. Bubble Bobble is a classic. Uh, Haley's Comet is great. Legend of Kage is a bit crappy. Uh, Fairyland Story is, is quite good fun. Not bad, it's like a precursor to Bubble Bobble. Um, Outer Zone is alright. Chak and Pop is not great. Uh, the original Elevator Action, a lot of people love it, but I've not really played it much. But, you know, Elevator Action 2 came from this, so it's probably not half bad. And I, I did see this in the arcades in Japan quite a few times, so it seems quite a popular game. Canoe Adventure is bizarre. It's literally a canoeing game where you can speed up and slow down, but you can fire stuff out the front of your canoe. Don't ask, it's, it's, it's very odd. Pirate Pete is great. It's a, you start off swinging around, then you go swimming underwater, then you've got to run through cave jumping over boulders, and then you've got to save your woman. It's quite quite fun, actually, that is. Original Quix is old, but it's a goodie. Looping third platform game, it's, it's not great. It's a little bit too old, to be honest, but it's okay. Steel Worker, I didn't actually get around to playing that, so I can't say that. Um, Lunar Rescue is okay. Nothing special. And the original Space Invaders, which I probably wouldn't play it myself, but, you know, it, it is super famous for what it is. And then you've got all the stuff on the um, spinner, like um, Camel Try and um, Civilian, which are both really good. Then you've got the Arkanoid games. You've got one called Something Pop, which is a bit like Arkanoid, but you're like bouncing uh, a little guy up on the screen. That's really good. Uh, what else you got? There's a few other games on there which are really good. So I think if you're buying it all, I think all in all, I'm a little bit surprised. I think it's better than I expected. I think it looked good, and then I got put off. I got put off by it. And now I've played it, I think it's, it's probably as good as it looked. Like I said, it's a mini console, it does have a bit of input lag. You know, as long as you're willing to accept that, um, perfectly fine. And I, I think you'd probably have a lot of fun with it. And it does look pretty cool on the shelf. And if you turned it on with a HDMI cable in it, it does make a nice light night light, <laughs> which is quite funny. So the marquee is quite nice. So yeah, um, would I recommend it? I reckon if, you, if you're willing, if you've got an Astro City Mini and you've got the arcade stick and the joypad, just buy the unit and the spinner. But I would definitely recommend buying the spinner because the games are fun and you've got a nice controller. So you're probably talking 206, 250 quid maybe with everything. Do I think it's worth it if you're into mini machines? Yeah, hell yeah, why not? It's good. It's good. I th would I... Would I, I think the Astro City Mini is probably still my favourite. But I think this is probably up there with it. And I think compared to the other Mini units, uh, the only, I think the PC Engine one, uh, this one, and the Astro City Mini are probably the best ones. The Mega Drive one come in. Uh, so just behind that, I would say. But yeah, very good machine. Uh, I like it. Like I say, it does have a few caveats, but it's really good fun. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, check out my live stream if you want to see me playing some of the games. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Anyway, guys, cheers for that. It's a bit of a long one, but at least I've given it a proper go. I am just reviewed it after playing it for half hour. So, um, yeah. Fun, guys. But cheers for that, and um, I'll catch you again.